Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a thermal pad replacement on my Zotac RTX 3070 white edition. And I'm going to be using thermal pads by Glid Solutions. They're a 15 watt thermal pad and you need um, So for the memory modules on the Zotac, you need two millimeter pads. Right, so here's my card, here's the pads. And so for these Zotacs, all you gotta do is take off these four screws. is a Philips Zero. Uh, Philips Zero. So you also got to take off uh, these three that are it's going to focus. You got to take off. There's one right there, right there, and there's one right there. That's the only screws you have to take off. So now what you want to do is you want to hold it with the PCIe up and then you just want to force it apart. Gotta be careful for the fan connectors which are So I'm just going to play it. Spin it this way. So all we need to do is we're going to exchange these. So I'm only going to do are two millimeters you just got this one this one and this one and then you can change this little one too if you want but let me just clean them up get them out of here
All right, so if you were going to replace all the thermal pads and not just the ones that are on the memory, you have um, one that goes along this bar right on this bar right here. And then you also have one that goes on this bar right here. And those are still on the board on mine. There's uh, one right here, this little spot. And there's one along this uh, rail right here. And those, this one and this one are um, 1.5 millimeter. And then uh, the ones that are on the memory and then this little one right here too is two millimeter. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be replacing and I'm just gonna cut them out and put them on there. So let's do it. All right guys, so at this point, I decided that I'm gonna replace the thermal pads that are behind the back plate as well. And uh, those thermal pads are supposed to be three millimeters and I only had two millimeter. So I went ahead and changed them anyway. But if I run into temps that are a lot worse than they already were, I'll be sure to order some three millimeter and replace those correctly. And so to access that, um all you need to do is take off six more phillips head screws and then uh the pcb will pull apart from the back plate
there you go once you put the card back together just make sure you put the um, tension screws back on and when you put the tension screws on make sure you go in a star pattern basically like when you screw in the lug nuts on a vehicle you want to make sure the tension is distributed evenly um, and after that just make sure you put the screws back in the IO shield and uh, that's it so thanks for watching my video hopefully it helped you out I'll leave some links in the description and uh, feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one